what is good YouTube welcome back to another video this is marketing with dev make sure you guys give me a like comment subscribe and hit those bell notifications so you can be notified when I drop new videos just like this one and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a retargeting campaign step by step but before we get into the video if you guys are serious about wanting to learn how to generate leads and sales on autopilot with Facebook ads, then make sure you click the link in the description right now and register for my free live Facebook ads workshop. I will literally share with you my entire Facebook ad strategy that is responsible for over $10 million in sales. And all you have to do to get it is register, click the link in the description, and I will see you there. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into this tutorial. So the first thing that we're going to have to do when we're talking about retargeting campaigns is create our custom audiences and our custom audiences are going to be our audiences that have, you know, people who have interacted with us before in some way, shape or form. So we are inside of the Facebook ads manager. What we're going to do is on the left hand side is we're going to go to audiences. Now that we're here, we're going to select create audience in the top left and we're going to select custom audience. So now these are all of the different sources that we can create a custom audience from. So we can create a, a custom audience of people who visited our website or specific pages of our website. We can upload our customer list and then we can create a custom audience of, you know, all of our customers or leads or whatever it is. Same thing for app activity offline activity catalog and they also have meta sources that you can use to create custom audiences as well so you can create a custom audiences of people who viewed a certain percentage of your facebook ads video or a facebook regular video that you posted on the regular facebook app same thing for your instagram account same thing for lead forms inside of facebook ads same thing for events instant experience facebook page shopping and on facebook listings so these are the different types of custom audiences you can create. And these are extremely powerful because this allows you to market to people differently because you don't need to be marketing to people who have never seen you the same way that you market to people who are very familiar with you and just maybe need a little bit of a push to become a customer, right? So it's important that you can segment these groups of people and you can deliver a different tailored message depending on where they are in their buying journey. So for example, we're going to select meta sources. We're going to do a video so you can create as many custom audiences as you want. I would recommend that you do that. Um, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to show you one and show you guys how you can set it up inside of a campaign. So we're going to select next engagement. So we're going to choose an engagement type. So these are the different selections we can choose from. So people who have viewed at least three seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds, people who have viewed at least 25% of your video, 50%, 75%, um, or 95%. So we're just gonna go with people who have viewed at least three seconds of your video. We're gonna select videos. We're gonna go to campaign because this is where my video is, but for you, it can be your Facebook page, it can be your Instagram account, or a campaign or a video ID. It really depends on where you have it. Mine is in the campaign, so let's go here. And we're going to select all three of these videos because they're the same. So I'm now creating a custom audience of all of the people who have watched at least three seconds of this video. So there's 2000 here, almost a thousand there, 548 there. So ordinarily we want a bigger audience than that, but this campaign is still running. So that audience is going to continue to grow and populate, right? So we can confirm this and let's edit the audience retention. Let's do 90 days. So this is, they're only going to be in this custom audience if they viewed at least three seconds of a video within the last 90 days. On the 91st day, they would no longer be a part of this custom audience. So you can change that to um, whatever days you want up to 365. So we're gonna call this video one viewers, 25% or 25% video one viewers dash 90 days and you can name this whatever you want so I just call this video one if you have you know a name that you're able to recognize for your video call it whatever you want and just put 25% viewers so you know and then I always like to put the days like how long we're retaining this audience at the end as well and then we can 
create audience. And there you go. So now it's populating, but we are able to use it. So now within our targeting on inside our campaign, I can send a campaign that is going directly to this group of people only. Sending this ad only to the people who have um, watched 25% or more of my video, right? And now I'm gonna create another one, even though it's right here, but I'm just gonna show you guys how you do it. So we're gonna go to custom audience again, and now we're going to select website. So now we're gonna create a custom audience of all of the people who visited our website. So events, well first you wanna make sure you have your pixel connected, you need that. Events, all website visitors, or you can do people who visited a specific web page. So when it, when we're talking about more advanced funnels and things like that, we can literally create a custom audience for each web page or each page of the funnel that they visit. So that way we know exactly how far along someone got and we know, you know, if they bought this order bump or not, we can send them a different ad and things like that. But for this example, we're just going to go all website visitors, audience retention. I like to go 90 days. So everyone who has visited our website within the, within the past 90 days are going to be included in this custom audience. On the 91st day, they are gone. So all website visitors, dash 90 days. And then you would create audience. Only reason why I'm not right now is because I literally already have this done right here, but I just wanted to show you guys, I already have this. Um, so now let's go into a campaign so you guys can actually see how we would set this up. So we are going to select create in the top left and we're going to choose our campaign objective. For me, in this example, we are looking for book calls. So I'm going to do a leads campaign, but you can also do a sales campaign as well. So we're gonna select leads. You're gonna select which one best works for you. For most of you guys, most of the time, it's probably either going to be a leads or a sales campaign when we're talking about retargeting. But when we're talking about you know going to cold traffic, that's when you might use an awareness or an engagement or even a traffic campaign. So now let's continue. I always like to do a manual leads campaign. Now we have to name our campaign. And the name that, that we name our campaigns, it's simple, very simple how we name it. So if it is a campaign that is going to cold traffic, it's labeled as L1. If it's a campaign that's going to warm traffic or a retargeting or a retargeting audience, then that would be something that we label L2. So since this is going to warm traffic, we are retargeting. This is L2. In the middle, we just always have what we're trying to achieve from the campaign, which is book calls. And at the end, we just always have the campaign objective, which is leads. Now we can go ahead and go over to the ad set level. So we're going to select next in the bottom right, and it's gonna take us right there. So now to name the ad set, I always name it the name of the audience that we're targeting, right? Just make it simple. So broad, 18 through 65. So we're gonna be running two ad sets for this specific campaign, and they're both going to broad audience, and we're going to be testing our creative, we're gonna be testing a video against an image. Going down to conversion location, you can select whichever one works the best for you, for me, and for most of you, I assume, it's going to be website. You're gonna to want to bring them back to a landing page or your website or something like that. But you can do website and instant forms where you generate leads to both your website and instant form. You can do website and calls, regular instant forms, messenger, instant forms and messenger, generate leads on Instagram, calls and app. Performance goal, I always maximize number of conversions. Data set, make sure that your pixel is in there conversion event, we're always going to um, make sure that we have our event in there, make sure you created one if you did not create one already. For your budget, you guys can have whatever you want. For this example, we're gonna be running two ad sets, both at $10 per day. So pretty small, but we're just going to be testing for a few days just to see what the results look like you know, with this image versus the video. Now going down to audiences. What we're gonna do is go to custom audiences right here. And then as you guys can see, we have our audiences right here. So we can select both of these. I'm gonna put 25% uh, video one viewers and website visitors for 90 days. These audiences are still small because they're still populating as we speak. We still have a campaign running that is 
creating these custom audiences and making them larger and larger as we speak. So the um, audience is, is small now, but within a week, four or five days, it will continue to populate and get larger. Going down to age and location, I'm in the United States, but you guys are gonna make sure that you want to have your country and all the countries that you're doing business in. And you're not going to have to do any detail targeting because we are doing our custom audiences, right? Going down to placements, I like to do manual placements and I like to select Facebook and Instagram, but you guys can do that however you like. That's completely up to you. And now we can select next and take us to the ad level. So for this ad, we're going to just call this one video two. Make it simple. Identity, make sure that you have your Facebook page and your Instagram page connected. Ad setup, we're going to create ad. Creative source, it's going to be a manual upload format, single image or video. Destination, this is where you're going to select your website URL, place it in there. And ad creative down here, this is where we're going to actually set up our creative. So for us, this is a video, so we're going to select video ad, go to media, and then we're just going to upload our video right here. So we're gonna select upload. So we have our video, this is the one right here, it's uploading. And then we're gonna go next. And then this is where we're gonna add our copy and our headline. Okay, so we got our copy in here, got our headline. I have plenty of videos on this channel about how to create copy and how to write headlines. So if you guys don't know or you wanna learn how to get better, then make sure you guys check some of those videos out. Um, I'll link some of those in the description. Um, but once you get this in here, you're done with this part of the ad level. So what we're gonna do now is go back to this ad set, broad 18 to 65, press these three dots right here, and we're going to duplicate existing campaign, number of copies, just one. And everything is gonna be the same here because we are just changing out this creative. So now we can change this, video two, and I believe we're gonna use image three here. And now all we have to do is go down. Everything is gonna be the same except the creative, edit media, change video, media, actually, you can just trash it, then add media, add image, media. And we're going to go with this one. And we're all good. Same thing as before. And then you guys will be all good to go. That's how you set up your retargeting campaign. So these ads are going to only the people who view 25% or more of the video and the people who visited our website. So nobody who has not seen us before will see this ad. So this is a retargeting campaign. And like I said earlier, if you guys are serious about learning Facebook ads and you wanna learn how you can generate leads and sales on autopilot, then make sure you guys click the link in the description and register for my free live Facebook ads workshop this Sunday. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys give me a like, comment, subscribe, and hit those bell notifications so you can be notified when I drop new videos just like this one. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.